Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be filming my very first Christmas themed video. I know this is one video that a lot of people have been doing on YouTube recently, which is a Christmas wish list. Before I start this video, I just want to point out that when I ask for things for Christmas, I'm not expecting to get everything. It's really just a general guide to my parents and uh, family members uh, as to the kinds of things which I might perhaps like. Um, so please do keep that in mind. I'm also thinking of doing a gift guide for study enthusiasts or those who follow the Granger lifestyle, something uh, kind of wholesome and old-fashioned. Uh, if this is something you'd like to see, then do let me know because I'd be happy to I'd be happy to film it, and I think that it might be quite a cool video. Without further ado, I'm going to uh, tell you what is on my Christmas wish list for 2017. The very first thing that I'm asking for is a new Kindle and this would definitely be my main present. I've had my current Kindle for about seven years now. I got a Kindle when they first came out, uh, so the one I've got is the very first one that was ever released by Kindle. The screen sometimes goes black and it's really slow in turning pages and also there's this bite mark on it from where my dog chewed it, plus the new Kindle Paperwhite. It's got really cool features on it. Uh, it's, uh, you can connect your Goodreads account through your Kindle, so when I finish a book I'll be able to just upload a review to Goodreads immediately. Also, there are more recommendations, so it will look at the books that you read and it will recommend books to you. And um, also you can document your reading speed, so it will tell you how long you've got left of the book as opposed to how many pages or uh, what percent. And I think that that's quite useful. This is at the top of my Christmas list and I'm really hoping to get it. The second thing on my Christmas list is a New York Times crossword subscription. I believe that this is about £10 a year, but basically you get access to all of the crosswords that the New York Times has ever released. I really love doing crosswords. I find them rather relaxing, so after a study session I might decide to quickly do a crossword. Third thing on my Christmas list is something which I feel some people will think is rather unnecessary because I already have a calculator. So at the moment I have got this uh, grey Casio calculator for chemistry and I had it for a couple of years. Uh, it still works perfectly fine which is why me asking for this is rather unnecessary. Um, I don't usually ask for duplicates of things because I think it's a, I, I, because I think it's a, it's a waste, uh, but it's a luxury which I would really love. Basically, uh, my friend Esme has a white Casio calculator, and I honestly just love the way that the white Casio calculator looks. So the third thing on my Christmas list is a white Casio calculator and I feel really bad in asking for it because I've already got a grey one. The fourth thing on my Christmas list is the Harry Potter History of Magic book. So of course the British Library is currently holding the um, History of Magic exhibition which I really want to go and see. We've got tickets for um, December. They released a book with uh, loads of the information that's included in the exhibit and I think that would be really interesting, so I've asked for that book. The next thing on my Christmas list is this Marauder's Map to-do list. They sell this at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour gift shop. I've been looking at this to-do list for maybe three years now. I saw it when I, went a I went, when I went to the Studio Tour a couple of years ago, and I just loved it. I think it's such a gorgeous to-do list pad. The sixth thing on my Christmas list is a bed jacket. They sell these at Slenderella, um, and I don't know why I love them so much, but I, they, feel, they look really smart and they look really warm, and my room gets really cold at night, so I feel like it would be really, really good for me. Then the final thing, this is the seventh thing, it's technically two things, but I'm putting them into one because they're both similar. There are two badges that I really like. Uh, one of them is the NASA pin, and the second is the He for She pin, which Emma Watson wears. I love both of these pins. I realised that I said I was putting those two together, but eight's my favourite number, so I'm actually going to say that that's two things, because it is, and then eight's around a number. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed, and maybe it will give you some idea as to what you could ask for for Christmas yourself. Thank you for watching, and have a productive week.